what's up y'all my fellow gym twins what's up it's tasha aka mama gym aka gym the butterfly and this video is of course for my fly ass gemini sisters and brothers out there um i want to take the time to say thank you for all of my um, new subscribers all my current subscribers all my followers on instagram if you don't follow me already go ahead and do so i am um jim g-e-m the butterfly underscore tarot um i just want to say thank you to everyone who's been liking sharing um commenting uh, subscribing to my videos it means a lot I've been receiving just the greatest of great of greatest comments has been just so cool and surreal I'm so thankful and appreciative um, website will be up very soon I will be making a video um, just to let y'all know when that is in effect um, this video is for Gemini Sun Moon Rising if you don't know your rising don't know your moon sign please go to um, google a birth chart calculator you do have to know your precise date of birth and time of birth of course you need to know your date of birth duh tasha um anyway your time of birth and your place of birth so um let's just get into this thing keep in mind these are general readings y'all gemini this is going to be for November 22nd through the 30th, if I haven't had said so. And for all those who requested that I shuffle on camera, you won. Democracy and majority rules in Mama's house. So the majority said, yeah, shuffle on camera. So let's see what's up with the Geminis. I'm kind of want to see what's up for us. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Four cards for this last nine days, eight days of the month, November 22nd through the 30th. First card out, the death card. Six of Pentacles, the Emperor, Eight of Cups. So, my gem twins, at the end of the month, at the end of the, the beginning of this week, expect a new beginning, a new change, a transformation to come through. I feel like a lot of y'all are coming. A lot of us are really just coming into ourselves, honestly, with this. And it's just a, a continuation. I don't believe that this is anything that's new necessarily. It's just it's still here. It's just here showing you that it's still working. You're still being worked on here. Um, you're going to be looking at your relationships to see what is actually you know truly give and take what is truly equal um at this end of this month and because of this this death card coming in here prompting this transformation with you um you also have the emperor card asking and urging you to put some order into your life and i feel like with the order um you have two major arcana cards you have the death and the emperor but where this order is coming in between and the change is whatever this relationships, whoever have some type of relationships where there's not a, any adequate give and take, you're going to be walking away from it. Okay. Um, that is a very simple and plain, excuse me, um, reading for the end of the week is just very straight and to the point. Um, you're not going to be putting up with the things that you put up with before. Simple and plain. Um, the emperor, whoever this emperor person is, the emperor is represented by an Aries, a Aries. It could be an Aries or some type of fire sign. I feel like someone coming in and telling you like, look, you got to look at this for what it is. It's not, um, it's not, I'm sorry. I'm scratching my way. Um, it's not, it's not, it's not what you think it is. Um, 
but I feel like a lot of y'all know that whatever the situation is, I feel like this is either a job or a relationship. Could be more so, um, yeah, job or a relationship, family situation. But you already know. Y'all, yeah, I'm just scratching myself all over the camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm itching for whatever reason. Like, I don't know if that that's whatever this thing is, is making you feel uncomfortable because <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. Like, I don't know. I wasn't itching all before and this is really crazy, but I'm just starting to itch now. It's like a nuisance. Now, maybe that's what it is. It's a nuisance um, because things are not as equal as they should be. But um, you're going to be regaining order by the end of the week. And because you regained order and you really looked at this thing from a very objective point of view and you took you took yourself out of it, you're going to be making a change and moving towards something that's more positive for you. OK, so that's your uh, weekly. How you end in the month, you're moving into something more positive. OK, that's how you're going into December. So let's look at December right now and see what we got. Doing things a little different for December. We're going to draw one card for general, one card for love and romance or relationships, one card for health and spirituality, one card for career and finance, and an advice card. All right. It's almost five o'clock in the morning. I'm sleepy, y'all. Excuse me. Gemini. But that is no way gonna affect this reading. I'm still read for y'all like it's early in the daytime. I'm gonna still read for y'all like it's twelve noon. Cause I love y'all. Let's see here. Got a card to pop out. I'm gonna just keep it because I don't know what that is. What y'all with Gemini? That ain't y'all. Gemini, I feel the need to draw two cards for y'all for general energy. I don't know what's up with this. Okay. Love and love and relationships. Health and spirituality. Career and finance. Advice. All right, y'all. I think I'm gonna make y'all the last reading for the night. Mama tied. All right. Overall energy. <laughs> Two of the two of pentacles and the eight of cups. This has been happening a lot. The things that's been in the weekly has been following into the um the monthly. For love and relationships, you have the ace of pentacles. Health and spirituality, you have the page of cups. The career and finances, you have the hermit. Advice, you have the strength card. And your card that popped out was the judgment card. So what I feel like overall, um, the overall energy, Gemini, you have the Eight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Um, just kind of piggybacking, piggybacking off of what I said for the weeklies is that you are going to be moving into a, you're going to be making a decision to be move, to move into a better headspace a better emotional space for you something that's going to be more positive you don't know what this is right now at this time but it, it hasn't stopped you from moving okay 
See, you're moving off in the darkness and you're being guided by the moonlight. You're using your intuition to, to do this. You're being prompted by it. I feel like you're being prompted by your intuition. Your gut is telling you, you're not happy here. You have to move. You're moving forward. And with this moving forward in December, you're going to be weighing up a lot of your options here with the two of pentacles. Um, the best thing I can tell you is even though you're, you're feeling pretty sure about moving here, you still have this kind of unsurety or this uncertainty about this decision. Um, with, and I'm skipping ahead with the advice card, stay strong, understand that this is a part of the process because I feel like whatever you're moving from, um, this is something that is, it's been longstanding. It could be a relationship. Um, I feel like this is, could be a relationship issue or it could just be your a general move in your life to a better place of happiness. And what, what we know is that you did have the death card in your last week's reading. So, you know, this is a major energy that you, that's still a transformative energy that is working on you. So I feel like it's just telling you to remain strong with this thing and let the process, you go through the process with this thing. Don't be so hard on yourself with the judgment card. You may find yourself being in your feelings this month, y'all. I'm just going to let y'all know. You may feel a little emotional, but that's okay. Remain strong. With the Ace of Pentacles in your love and relationships, you're going to be offered up a new, um, a new friendship. You're going to be making some new friends, new connections, um, things that can possibly last a long time. It could be a love interest that's coming in. Um, <clears throat> but whoever this love interest is, I don't believe it, it could be something that is long lasting, but they're willing to be friends first. Okay. I'm just going to say that they, they are willing to be friends first. This is something that, you know, um, it could be a love relationship with, with yourself. You may be moving to a, a, a part where you could just feel like, you know what, I want to love myself more. So if, you know, it could be, a, like I said, it could be a new love coming in, but it's going to start very slow, start off as a friendship, or this could be you falling back in love with yourself all over again. Now, with the ace, the page of cups in your health and spirituality, what I feel like it's telling you to do um, for your health and spirituality is for those that have children, you need to connect with your children just a little bit more, be a little bit more lighthearted. If y'all have, you know, sometimes, especially like they're small kids. I don't know why I feel like small kids, I mean, the child, I don't know. It could be a child that's a cup, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but I feel like it's telling you if you, if you have kids, make sure you put in some time with your kids. That is going to help. Kids have such a good energy around them anyway. Um, they Just being around them will lighten you up and lighten up your spirit. If you don't have kids, lighten yourself up. Laugh more. Joke more. Smile more. Let go of the words. Kids have no words in the world. They have nothing to worry about. Now, as an adult, I know we can't always do that. But learn to lighten up some is what I feel like it's telling you for your health and spirituality. Because, you know, you are going through, like I said, you're going through a major transformative time in your life. And it will cause you to look at yourself and, and want to um, judge yourself very harshly compared to other people. But I feel like it's saying take a lighthearted approach with this. You know, even if, if, if you do have kids, get, get time, make time, spend time with your kids. It's going to be very beneficial to your soul to have some quality time with your child or children. Um, so for career and finance, you have the hermit card. What I feel like with the hermit card is telling you along with this journey, because the hermit is going on a journey as well. You're out searching for answers. And I feel like some of y'all are just not satisfied in your current situation. That's been the general thing for a lot of people over this, um, the, for the month of December, that they're just not, they're just not satisfied with their career. Some people are, and they're reaping real benefits, but a lot of y'all are not. And it's going to be prompting you I feel like y'all are actually contemplating a career, a career, a total career change. I don't know where that's coming from, but it's going to kind of send you off. Um, 
looking for looking for something that can satisfy your soul a little bit better. Maybe your current job is not there's it doesn't there's no job joy. You don't have job joy and it doesn't it doesn't speak to your soul. Yeah. It doesn't speak to your soul. You may even find yourself at your job kind of being off to yourself, kind of, you know, um, if you've been the social person, because Gemini's are pretty social, but I feel like you're going to be kind of off to yourself a little bit more because you're, you're trying to put some things together. Again, you have this, 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 um, going back from the last week, your last, your weekly reading, you are, you're still going to be under this, this energy of the death card. And so it's really prompting you to take a look at your job, take a look at your career and look and see, are you really, are you being spiritually fed from this job? Are you getting, um, is your, do you feel fulfilled within your job? And you're going to be out looking, looking, keeping to yourself, but you're going to be out searching on your own for what you need to be doing to get yourself out of this situation. Again, do not judge yourself. We have to, we have to let go of the judgment in comparison um, <clears throat> of what you think is, what, what you think is good for you. What is good for somebody else may not be good for you. Some people can work a plain nine to five job every day and be good with it. You may not be the person who can do that. You got to take a, take an honest look at yourself and realize and see if this is something that you really want to continue doing for yourself. Okay. Um, but again, for advice, you have the strength card. So I feel like overall, um, Gemini, you, you're, you're, you're in a good spot. You know, I feel like the limbo is because, you know, you guys, yeah, we, we, I say you guys, but we, we just like that. You know what I'm saying? We're always indecisive. We'll make a move, then turn back around and be like, damn, did I, should I have done that? Or, you know, whatever. And I feel like, you're going to be moving, excuse me, into this thing. And then right after you move, you're going to be feeling like maybe I shouldn't have. But no, don't don't feel like that. Don't feel like that. Handle this thing with ease. Know that you made the right decision. <laughs> excuse me. You made the right decision with this judgment card. Excuse me. And because you made this right decision, because I feel like this does have to do with some type of love. If it does have to do with love, if you got new love and a new friendship new relationship coming in right around the corner. Somebody's going to be offering up something, something that's steady, something that's something that is um grounded and practical and and it can grow, it has potential for growth, which is good. Remain lighthearted with this thing. And I think that's what that goes along right with this strength card. You got to be able to laugh at your own self at this time because you you may be feeling just like, you know what? I'm just I'm not balanced right now and it, it may be throwing you off, but it's okay. You're not finding too much happiness in your job, um, but it's okay. Remain strong. The answer is going to come to you with this hermit card. Keep, 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 keep thinking of ideas. Keep moving forward is what this is telling me to tell you for December. Um, I feel like I need to draw an extra card or so just to feel, see what else we need to What are the other advice? Because it, it kind of ends off on a just a like a to be continued type. A to be continued type um vibe, which is weird. So I want to know which how Gemini is gonna be ending ending their month. And you had a card to pop out. And <laughs> the same card that everybody else has been getting, which is so crazy, which is the seven of pentacles, just continue to reassess. It does not, it doesn't want to give me anything else than that. Just keep doing what you're doing. Um, I feel like this is going to be a lot of, um, the energy, very reminiscent of the energy that you had of in November is just, it's time for you to make a change for yourself and just continue working on yourself. And it's going to work out in the end. So you're going to like the results that y'all going to get. Just remain strong, y'all. Just remain. Handle it with ease. You're going to get the answers you need with this hermit card. So um, good way to end 2015, Geminis. So thank y'all again for watching. I am about to go to bed, y'all. Good night. Bye.